everyone to Phyllis the cook or Phyllis the chef either way I am going to be making I am getting all my ingredient stuff set up right next to me and I'm going to be making what's called keto cinnamon rolls um, it's basically eggs and I'll read the ingredients and I'll put them down in the description for you guys um, I may not tell you the amount because I kind of came up with this myself I have been editing and tweaking a few other people's videos that I've been finding on YouTube but this is my version of this so um, anyway let's get started So here's all my ingredients salt sea salt tartar eggs I gotta separate vanilla coconut heavy whipping cream uh, stevia cinnamon and cream cheese is here as well so here are my directions of how I've tweaked everything so let's go ahead and get started guys all right so I so I have zoomed you guys in I hope this is gonna be a fairly decent picture for y'all so I hope everything turns out great for imaging purposes. So I'm gonna go ahead and just scoot some of this stuff off of here. So first off, I need to separate these two from the egg yolks to the egg whites. So let's go ahead and start with that. So I am just separating the yolks from the whites here. This to me has always been the trickiest. There we go, perfect. All right, here's my hand. All right, so now that I have that ready to go, I forgot to put my egg beater thingy on here all right let me zoom you guys out just a bit now I add egg whites maybe I'll put this imaging here hold on all right I just moved the camera for y'all so sorry about that so egg whites here and then I need one teaspoon of this which is my cream of tartar if I can get this off Doki. So one teaspoon. So here's my teaspoon. Okay. And then you want to mix this on high to make it a thick, um, thick peaks. So. Okay.
Okay, I'm going to check how this is. It looks pretty thick to me. They said if it doesn't fall off when you go upside down like this with a knife. I'm going to let it run just a couple extra minutes to be on the safe side. much better because see the whole spindle here is um, the whole spindle is full of the meringue part so let me go just two more mini here real quick If you guys can see what I'm seeing, which is the bottom of my bucket inside, I'm trying to zoom it in, it's um, pulled away a lot on the very, very, very bottom. So anyway, I'm gonna let that sit for just a moment. Let me zoom back out because I'm gonna switch you over to this half here where I'm working here. So let me zoom out just slightly. Okay, so now in another bowl, I'm gonna add the egg yolk mixture with cream of cheese here three ounces, two teaspoons of the stevia, and a pinch of this salt. Instead of Himalayan salt, I think I'm gonna add sea salt to mine. So let me grab my other bowl here. Which is just like the same one I'm working with. So let me, um... all right, so egg yolks. Okay. And then cream cheese. between the two and the four. So this line right here, see here's the line of the two, which is here, the fourth line. So I'll cut it all right here. So I need three ounces. teaspoon back to my teaspoon measurement one two all right so what I'm actually gonna do here let me zoom out so you guys can see what I'm trying to do so I'm going to take this off of this Very stiff peak, see? <laughs> I think this is the best stiff, stiff peaks I've ever done. All right, so I'm gonna swap bowls here. Put that in there. Add this here. Let me rinse this off. All right. Okay. So here's our cream cheese, egg yolk, stevia. I need a little bit of salt. A pinch, it says a pinch of salt. So literally I'm doing a pinch of salt. Okay. And then 
then I just mix this all together. resembles like a cake batter if you guys can tell looks more like a cake batter okay so here is where we get to the fun part we are going to grab our bowl scoop back out of the way So remember we have our cake batter section, which is the egg yolk mixture, and then we have our meringue. So we need to put this into this bowl here. So now I need to put this in here and fold it in. So I'm gently going to take this out of here. See how it just like literally falls out? Exactly what we want. So I cleaned this full out, put everything in here. Now is the time to add our ground cinnamon. Most people just sprinkle it in, but again, this is supposed to taste like cinnamon rolls, right guys, right? So, let me zoom in so you guys can understand what fold means. So fold means, let me add my tablespoon of cinnamon. I just sprinkle it over the top. All right, so folding. So, we don't want these two ingredients yet, so I'm gonna put them in the back. All right, so fold. Fold means come from the bottom of your bowl. So from the bottom of your bowl, and literally fold up, just like so. So I'm gonna just keep doing this until everything is literally mixed in because you want all of this mixed very well and you're just gonna keep sitting here and folding it in over and over and over because these are kind of like I guess you can, another name for this instead of cinnamon rolls you can call it cloud bread I mean, you can call it whatever you want. All right, now that it's almost done, just continue keep folding it in, flipping the top to the bottom, the top to the bottom. Because you do not want to deflate the fluffiness of your, I mean, it's gonna deplenish slowly anyway. Okay, so now this is what it looks like, guys. So. Okay. Now I grab my pan, paper to it, just so that they don't stick. Basically. 
is all this really is. Okay. Okay. Now, big ice cream scooper. That's just how I typically do it. So you're gonna take this. to stay up high because they will shrink. to make one more I would just add a little bit to this one this one this one into an oven goes into an oven, the 300 degree oven for about 30 to 35 minutes depending on your oven and how it works. So, as you see my oven there, it is preheated to 300 already I believe, yep. So now I'm going to just take this, open up my oven, carefully put them in. Set your timer for 30 minute to start with. And then as soon as, and as soon as they are done, I will check they're supposed to be slightly golden brown on top when you know that they are ready. So in the meantime, let's rinse out our bowl because we need to make the frosting part. All right, now onto the frosting real quick as the other is cooking. So in here I have this Kerrygold butter that I use. So we need four tablespoons. Okay. And then we need the other four ounces of our cream cheese. And then we need half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Half a teaspoon of lemon juice. as well. One tablespoon of heavy whipping cream. This is coconut heavy whipping cream. Four teaspoons of stevia. One, two, three, four. And now we just mix all these ingredients and put it in the fridge until we are ready. And then I personally add more cinnamon to taste here. Maybe about a teaspoon of cinnamon for the icing as well, just so everything is all yummy. Okay. 
All right, I'm gonna start this out slow. Because we have hard butter. And slowly beat it. I do it like kind of like whipped. That's the way I do it. I know other people do it differently, but I like it the whipped the better, personally. All right, and this is where I scrape down the sides and the bottom. Make sure everything's well incorporated. Spin on it again. Alrighty, so you guys can tell how that looks here inside. So now, let me zoom it out all the way. So now guys, um, this is where I take it off the beaters and everything. Um, in fact, you guys, I guess can see me while I'm talking, um, how I'm doing this, take it off the beaters. And then I put this back in the refrigerator because it's best when it's chilled because it does have butter and whipped cream in here. And our food still has in the oven approximately 22 minutes. So I don't want this sitting out here and getting all yucky on us um, for the next 20, 25 minutes. Because as soon as I take it out of the oven, guys, I put this cream cheese on it so it can melt. Mmm. Not very sweet, but it's not like just plain cream cheese that you taste either. It's the perfect ratio of everything. Which I uh, have it ready as soon as it comes out. Put it on top of the bread and everything is ready to go. So this is what it looks like. So in the fridge it went and as soon as the bread and stuff comes out, I'll show you how I finish topping everything. Oh yeah. You see how tall these are? Whoa, that's exactly what we want. I know the quality's not good. I'm not opening up the oven. But yeah, they are very thick and tall, which is perfect. So the meringue set, amazing. So, timer has about 18 minutes of the 30. I will go and check it and see how all of that did. And then I'll um, put the icing on top that we just made. And there you have it. I may have one actually for lunch. So. Thanks for watching, um, but I'll go ahead and show you the last little bit before I end this video. All right, my timer just went off. This is what they look like right now. I think they are ready. Boy, do they smell so good. They truly smell like cinnamon rolls. Let's see. I think the upper foot. See how they're slightly brown here? So, as I was saying a minute ago, turn my oven off. Okay, so let this focus. There we go. All right, so this is what they look like. Totally amazingness. All right, so let me grab this cream cheese back out of here. And then. Let me put you guys back on the stand so I can show you guys how I usually put this together. All right, so <clears throat> I have my knife. Grab my pot holder back out. Let me turn the light back off. All right, so here we go. So I literally just take a handful of this and this will melt because this is very hot.
here. So I will put them in a little jar. And then, um, so I'll put them in a jar and then in the morning when I need to reheat them because you want to keep these in the refrigerator because it is cream cheese, it does have butter and stuff like that. So put them in the fridge once they're finished cooling and go ahead and grab your leftover if you have of your frosting and just put it on there in the morning when you heat it up in the microwave or put them back in the oven, either of your choices. And um, there you have it guys, homemade cinnamon rolls, keto diet friendly. So I hope to look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and welcome to my channel. And um, I will catch you guys later.